Hello, uh, tacticians and strategists, fleet commanders and Viper pilots. Welcome back to Battlestar Galactica Deadlock and playing Hardball. It is Davis' turn to dispatch a huge army of Cylons that are trying to invade Jiminon. Let's see to it that they do not break through our lines. And then we are going to have the strategic phase and then we can actually jump with our huge fleet to the story mission and that's what I am looking forward to and then I hope that we will see some other ships because I want that so here we go strong fleet let's not hang around too close there now let's have you guys a bit higher Going like this one battle star Well, the thing is, with two Minotaurs, it's actually not the wisest to uh, to fly away too long. But I'm expecting a lot of missiles, so we need to destroy at least one or two or three Arachnis first. So let's go like this. Let's roll like this. You guys can go a little bit higher still. So like that. Gunship, let's have one armor piercer. Otherwise this could actually be a pretty tough fight. Yeah. So let's proceed. Because we are we don't have also we don't have so in many three. Two, one. Thanks, Helena. Since when do we jump around here? Uh, because this fleet is not very Viper heavy. And that is actually a problem. So, Artemis, launch all squadrons. Understood. And Adamants as well. Understood. Do we really have. Yeah, we only have four squadrons of Vipers. That's rather weak. I feel a bit vulnerable. We are turning around. Yes, Commander. Sending messages. Help. We don't have any Vipers ready for combat. Which is half true. So that's the best lies if you speak the half truth. And we are yeah, we are actually yeah, we are not in such a good position here. But we do have The, the nebula but that doesn't really help us much so let's fly like this then and let's go high yeah well okay well with this fleet it might even be a good idea to punch in and rip them apart but not against uh, the number and the strength of the enemy so so let's rather be careful ending the turn and on the other hand, our Minotaurs should actually be well equipped to take out enemy raiders. There we go. The Rhea starts pinging the enemy. Oh, they are still very far away. So, so say we are. Left. Like this. All four Viper squadrons move out. Over there, and then our ships are boosting away for the moment. Yeah, we are so slow. This could be a commander. problematic mission, actually. A quite problematic mission. So, by the way, do we have any planets around? There. Ah, oh, yeah, that's Jiminon. Does look nice though. Fresh green and blue. So, ending the turn. Rhea, what do you see over here? IFF confirms unit is hostile. Arachne identified, Talon identified. 
Another Arachne identified. All right, good. So three Arachnes identified. Time to boost away. I hope they haven't identified us. But I fear they have, actually. Because they didn't move too much. But we'll see. Then. Our ships keep boosting. Understood. You guys. Get on one level and then we are actually firing all our missiles. Or we are no, we are not boosting, we are going on attack. And then we are firing our missiles here at this Arachne. Focus fire. And we can't shoot the missiles, so let's lose the minor tours. Like this then. Firing munitions. And our Vipers are at a disadvantage, so we shouldn't let them engage, actually. Oh, well, actually, we need to help out if there are missiles flying. So. Regular Arachnes, no elite. No, okay, so. Radar prototypes. Yeah, well, all right then. Or should we probably not boost, but rather fly like this? And I fear that we are not far enough away then. This guy will probably identify us if if he's putting everything into his um, radar section. Yeah, let's rather fly away. Like that. Or even... No, no. We are not turning hard left. We are just boosting away there. That's fine. Okay, so let's watch our missiles leave the ships, ending the turn. All with the panorama of Geminon. There we go, and we are flying around a bit. Okay, no missiles on their way to us. Looks actually not so bad for the rear right now. Let's get away from the radars. All Vipers. Move out. Now our capital ships. Boost again. So say we all. No, that's not what I want. No. Why is our formation messed up now? Understood. Why is it not uh, updating? Yes, Commander. Ranger. Stay in formation. Don't do anything stupid. They are like so. Well, the frigates go like so. And by the way, we want to be. Oh, yeah, we want to be low thou. So again with the Oceanus. Sailing above the other ship, so there we go. Ending the turn, let's look from the rear's perspective. Yep, they are pursuing the rear. Missiles are coming in. We are a terrifying number of raiders there. You guys fly forward. You guys move out. Don't let them catch you. Two more turns. Yeah, 
we can stay like here and yes, go as sir. low as you can. And then we'll see the first impact. Rhea. Yeah, I think the Rhea needs to keep boosting. So let's end the turn. And let's watch the missiles hit this Arachne. That's actually nice. So all of them will hit the left side. Very good. Armor is nearly through. Very good, actually. But yeah, they know that we don't have enough missiles here. When actually, if they are quick enough, they might even catch them with their rear, which is even worse for us. Here we fly like that. Bypass. Escort. Oh, that's a bit far away. But well, if they could, they would shoot at us. That's where we can be uh, pretty clear about. Let's fire some missiles. Then here. Yeah, no, then, then let's definitely only make a full fleet salvo. Boosting. No, we wanted to get lower. Yes, Commander. As low as possible. And you guys boost. Getting on one level again. Like this. Yeah. And in the turn, are they flying in? No, okay. Oh no, we are catching them all with the left side. That's actually not so bad. Good. That is actually satisfying, so satisfactory. All energy to weapon systems. Minus the two Minotaurs. And then we are shooting some more missiles at this guy. Firing munitions. And the rear is actually the perfect bait right now. However, this guy here is actually gaining some ground there. That's not good. Flying forward. Let's go lower. You guys. Move out like there. And I think we actually should get into a super sandwich formation. You two go higher. Yes, Commander. So, let's hope they're not catching up with the Rhea, actually. Uh, that's actually less than ideal. One, two, three, four, five, six, yeah. The rear is not extremely um or is it? I think they are not elite, yeah. Well, I mean can't help it right now. So, could be that these guys are soon identifying the rear. So let's end the turn then. Now you guys can actually then rather move here like this. And then actually our ships should rather come in around. No, not like that. Yes, Commander. Like this. And then the rear can actually get a little bit around. So, ending the turn. Two more missiles for this Arachne. They are flying into the missiles now. Hitting them with the top. Yeah, okay. Rhea, are you sniping? No, not really. Okay, but they're not gaining too much ground. But yeah. Still, I think yes, our sir. best bet. Guys, move out like here. Best bet is actually to let them fly into our fire. You guys 
Let's come and go like yes, this. Yes, sir. Three more turns. Well, we are actually targeting this first squadron there. However, we can actually at this point we can uh, boost forward like so while you guys you go full thrusters. Like this. Okay. Rhea ending the turn. Yeah, yeah. So the, the thing is, we are no elite, which means we have actually no real hope to shoot these guys. But the good news is, the Rhea is, is not um, identified yet. So this is a little space dance here. You guys keep flying like this. Yes, Commander. And you guys keep flying like this and we can actually get a little bit higher. So. Ending the turn. Next turn we can start putting the uh, rear on maximum attack. Uh, what what happened? Oh no! They were hiding inside of the nebula, huh? How how is that? Oh, did I? No, okay, no, they were in the nebula. Okay. Hmm. That's a bit sad. So they are just flying into our targeted fire. Let's get a bit higher there, you guys. Go on the attack now. We can actually go higher. Like that. They are coming for the fleet. Okay, you guys. Attack them now. Shoot some missiles at this Arachne. For the Vipers. Move like here. Everyone has their target, right? Yeah. The, the leading radar squadron, okay. So let's have a look what's going on here. Why did why what happened here? Opening the turn. Yeah, so we are completely Yeah, shooting, sniping. I want those radars out of my sky. Come on, take them out, don't let them identify you. So that's actually less than ideal, but well they are at 29% now. You guys. Understood. Stay high. Focus fire there. Well, you guys. Need to hope that we are actually targeting them. So, and then, well, we do have two Vipers at the ready. And I think, like, if we let them fl come for us, then uh, we will lose uh, a lot of ships. So we'll attack the first two squadrons in the hopes squadron target is confirmed that we will destroy this one here and then shift targets on, on them. So ending the turn. Come on. Oh no, they have fighter squadron the is taking now. fire. Yep, the rear is identified. Come on, guys. There. Dogfight is going on. Yeah, I fear that our whole fleet is now identified. But well, that's not ideal. You guys focus there. You guys, I mean, okay, the minor chores have only a uh, heavy. I'll do there actually. We 
have heavy turrets. Oh yeah, no, the medium are on the left and right. Yeah, okay, no, it should actually it should be okay. Ria, fly like so. Yes, sir. We are shooting these guys, helping out. Oh, and we have um, vipers. Why are you guys up there? You attack that one, then you guys go for this one. You guys go for that one. Understood. And the 11, take this one here. Let's hope we are not losing a squadron there. So, and do we have any missiles to shoot? Yes, we have. Both frigates. Yeah, let's fire this first Arachne. Artemis. Uh, what's happening? Why, why are we actually not all on the maximum attack? Did someone mess up the paperwork there? There. Ranger. Shoot guided missiles. Missile tubes one. prepped. But armor piercers. Yeah, at this one, yeah. And then the Artemis fires her missiles. And this Arachne here as well. Oh, come on. Yeah. Like so. So we make sure that we have the kill. You guys are yeah, firing there, that's good. They are on the third one. They are on the second squadron, I mean. So, okay, so this is actually sort of a slaughter, but well, that's what, that's what happens if you don't have enough Vipers. Ending the turn. Yeah, well. And the enemy has identified us and is shooting missiles now, of course, yeah. Well. That's less than ideal, and we have we lost one Viper Squadron. Repeat, one Viper Squadron lost. That's not good. You guys are on this one now. Well, but we 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 gained superiority now. That's the good news. So let's have actually let's have two squadrons on this one here, and you guys go on that one. Squadron target is confirmed. And then the Ria. Flies like this and behind. Our. Flag cloud, our flag wall, so we need a flag wall. And then we fly like this. We shoot this guy here. Everyone shoot this one. Yeah, I think actually the actually the minotaurs are rather efficient there. And Artemis, you shoot this one. And actually the Artemis is activating the flag on the right already. Friendly squadron active. Yeah, well, they are over there. I hope they're not so stupid and fly into our flag zone, so it should be fine. So, okay. Yeah, however, the Artemis leans in a little bit more like this. And the missiles look like they are actually indeed going for the rear, at least this here. But we'll see. What happened there? Did they actually dodge the bullet, the missiles again? No. Well, that is a messy fight. Ending the turn. There. Okay, good. So we've got them. Lost a few more vipers, but it's fine now. Yeah, very good. Vipers are defending. Very, very good. So let's actually have our Vipers defend at location here. Like this. 
so and then these missiles they are actually flying for the flood cloud yep they are indeed going for the artemis yes sir you guys are there the minotaurs stay on target going a bit lower like so ranger the oceanus You guys go yes, like sir. this. And now we should actually mess them up, but well, they come in with their front. at oh, the top. Okay, well. And then, well, let's shoot everything here at this one. Artemis needs one more turn. Here we need two more turns. The rear is okay, though. Yeah, okay, no. Actually, no one is shooting at the rear, so we can go full attack flying like this and then we are also firing our missiles at this arachne there i hope we are not shooting no it should go directly here yeah not in a stupid angle like so and then hitting our own ships okay adamant you guys so say we all come up like so and all ships point their guns at this arachne there okay so let's see how that goes ending the turn missiles incoming we have the flag yep good missiles intercepted okay well all missiles some get through oh very good very good all missiles intercepted excellent so yeah you guys keep defending here at this location Brigades. Go like this. And by the way, so how far is our range? I guess they will stay outside of the range. But let's see. So they survived. So I like yes, here. sir. Focusing fire. Artemis could shoot missiles, but I think we are leaving our flag on. Minotaurs. Yeah. Let's see to it that we are not drifting forward too much. So say we all. So like this. You guys focus fire there. We do have a we should be able to reach them, right? Well, uh, I think they will end up like somewhere here. And by the way, the Manticore can actually go full identification. And then let's actually, uh, let's, let's hide behind the Artemis. Then we can uh, identify this guy here. I guess this could even be a, rev a revenant. Yeah. Ending the turn. Yeah, it's a revenant. Okay. That's not ideal. But they are shooting at the vipers. The vipers are intercepting some of the missiles. Good. And we are starting to shoot. Actually, yeah, let's divert all fire. Uh, what? Someone was already shot up was shot up the front why is the palace's front messed up hmm. we're turning in now so say we all so say we all and everybody shoots the revenant Well, you guys, you're well above the, the cloud, so you shoot your missiles here into this one. Manticore hides behind the Artemis. Well, in our Vipers, let's attack this one yes, here. Yes, sir.
ending the turn. Lots of fire hitting the Revenant. The Revenant is firing all they can. Good. We have one kill and now we are messing up the Arachne. Good. Good, good, good. Okay, well, that was... That was a bit too insecure, this feeling. Oh yeah, we have another Revenant coming in. So let's make a a wall of lead and metal. Lead and other metals. They are like so. Vipers. Defended location. No, that's not the right location to like here rather like here and this guy they they were still launching two of their missiles here i think possibly well on the manticore can actually boost and yes commander around like this and then we are shooting this guy as well so The hangar has been hit. I'm not sure what happened there. We also had no space accident. Otherwise, another ship would have way more damage there. But well, so let's see. Maybe the repairs have not been completed or something. Or I just forgot the fleet, but that's actually not possible, right? Ending the turn, because we are always Subsystem doing repairs are our complete. paperwork. Okay, yeah, excellent. Very good. Kill. And the other Arachne is under pressure. Very good. And our Vipers stay on the defensive. Yeah, let's let's keep them on the defensive. With two Minotaurs we actually have enough firepower to just to just mess them up. But let's actually Understood. go a little bit lower. And we are firing at this one. Well, the Manticore comes around like so, can actually go a so little say bit we forward, all. firing at this one as well. And I would think that we are actually shooting here, so we are not firing any missiles. Adamants, the Oceanus should actually be okay. So let's fire missiles into this one here. There. And actually, let's have one Viper Squadron go for this year, so we have them identified. Ending the turn. Artemis is taking and damage. More IFF confirms unit is hostile. Okay, there, another kill. Rachni is done. Let's fire quickly at this one. Manticore. Yep, no one is interested in the Manticore anymore. So let's fly around yes, like Commander. this. And we are shooting our missiles. into this Arachne. However, now actually, let's actually fly away there. Present our left turrets and firing at this guy. Good. And all Vipers stay defensive here. Like that. Good. Yeah, I guess they are shifting from this one to this one. Oh, and by the way, no, we can't do this anymore. The Artemis needs to get around. Coming around. Hard right. The two Minotaurs. Also come around like so. But the two adamants, they just stay here. We don't have any scratches. 
only in the front, yeah, and I don't want them to present the front in any way. Go like this. Let's keep on target there. All right. Ending the turn. Artemis is taking damage. Yep, lots of heavy artillery fire. They are trying to get away and they are already messed up. Oh yeah, we are getting going for the Revenant. Artemis is in trouble though. Is in trouble but is saved so far. We are turning around some more. Concentrating fire here. Cancelling flak. Firing missiles. You guys fire missiles at this one. You shoot the Revenant. Minotaurs keep firing and pounding the Revenant. And the Oceanus also firing at the Revenant but shooting missiles down at this one here. Oh, but no, minus the armor piercer. The armor piercer goes into this one. Oh, that's an elite. That's the elite. Uh, Cylon, yeah, I guess this one is leading the assault, so we should have destroyed this one first, actually, but yeah. Why didn't we fire missiles yes, with sir. this guy? Firing munitions down there. Focusing fire, so... And the Vipers can actually attack this one here as well. Ending the turn. Revenant is exploding. I should have activated, activated the left plug. Oh, 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 looks bad actually. Now it looks rather bad there. Um, the left open. So let's brace for impact. Yes, sir. And we are firing here at this guy. Well, the ranger keeps pounding at this one. The adamant shoot this one, and our minotaurs fire down at this one. You guys have a target, Manticore. We are also On it, Commander. down at this one here. Yeah. And well, actually, no, we are actually flying away like this. They do have some firepower here, though. Any good turn? Artemis is taking Crazy damage. For impact. All at 52. They are firing at us. Good. One kill, and this one blows up as well. Good. We made it. We made it. Davis made it. Good. But that was actually quite exciting here and more problematic, so yeah. Um why is the battle not over? Ah, there was a Talon, right? What is the situation? Oh yeah, they have a Talon there. The Talon is hanging back, okay. Well, then let's have our Vipers. Go for the Talon over there. Ranger moves forward. The rear can also be part yes, of the Commander. hunt. And the two Minotaurs, although they are rather slow there. Okay then. So well Artemis ending the turn. So the frigates and the Artemis, they stay together. Oh, that's a, ni that's a nice debris field. Yeah, the Artemis has been shot up. Yes, Commander. So... Yeah, you guys all boost. In the rear, you can do better than that. And the Vipers have their target, all right. Ending the turn.
Well, they should have brought the tail in, actually. Then they might have brought us into more trouble if they had all concentrated on the Artemis. You guys go there. Yeah, and you guys just keep boosting. Yes, sir. And the turn. Yeah, they are staying inside of the nebula. I mean, I guess this is kind of standard tail on behavior. They rely on their radars. But that only means that they are splitting up their forces, which is never a good idea. Or rarely a good idea. Yeah, we are not shooting any missiles, so... Vipers, you are kind of slow. And in turn... Oh yeah, they, are, they came out of the nebula now. Okay, so it means that we can actually shoot at them. Let's go full attack. Firing missiles. Firing. Yeah, well, and the others don't fire. We are just staying here. Yes, sir. Vipers are on their way. Good. So. That should make the Vipers job a bit easier. Yeah, and you guys just keep boosting. Manticore. Boost forward. And... I think, yeah, they are lingering in front of the... Yeah, good. Well, the front is already open, so the armor piercers are coming too late, unless they are really uh, maneuvering massively now. Their smartest move would be to eat the the armor piercers with the front and then to turn around if they can manage that but I think our miss missiles here they are too quick for that they are not maneuverable enough ranger Keep boosting yeah. and then that's that let's make sure that we don't have a space accident up here or you guys she fly over the ship like On this. Commander. Ending the turn. Missiles coming in now. Very good. And on the left side now. Okay, now. Or did they, did they indeed eat the? No. Where did we hit the? The armor piercers, no, I think in the left also, right? Yeah. Well, anyway, so Manticore, all energy to weapon systems, targeting the Talon. And then we're actually just flying like this. Because we have them in our sights. All other ships. Understood. Well, let's actually fly like this. And then the Oceanus can shoot some more missiles at them. There. So, ending the turn. Massively attacking from both sides. So it's coming in. Oh yeah, well, the rear now. Well, okay, their maneuvering is very smart. 
Impressive maneuvering. Front is being pounded. Understood. Let's actually rather fly. Oh, we all. Oh. Well, that's why they fly like this. And we shouldn't be hit by our own missiles. So let's yes, fly sir. high. That way we might even catch some some of their shots uh, with the bottom. Vipers, time to blow this one up and turn. Good, but they are shooting at the rear. But we destroy them even before the missiles arrive. All right, nice. Good, good. So that outcome was not guaranteed. So not at all. Ah, yeah, and Davis actually nearly makes the next commander level. Okay, so the rear is just a veteran actually so looking at the replay yeah that was a very strong fleet and we are actually oh, we, uh, davis's uh, fleet is not actually ideally um prepared for that for that number of radars So we can basically say that um, more than one Minotaur is usually more a liability, I think. I mean, on the other hand, like without Minotaurs, I, I guess it would be really, really hard um, to munch through them um, if they are getting so close. Yeah, but then still, without a Minotaur, there's no need to let them get so close so quickly. By the way, I just saw a star station here, space station. Oh yeah, there, on the left. I didn't notice it during the battle. Hidden beneath, uh, beside, uh, uh, amongst the asteroids. So. Too many radars coming for us there. A terrifying swarm. that we shot our own ships by the way that that was that was probably the reason yeah i guess we shot our own ship then so that was the reason why the frigate had the frontal armor destroyed i guess the, it caught a missile or two Our defense worked rather nicely, I think. Bypass. Now a missile patch mode. And now our cannons speak. And they shall speak the truth to the Cylons, right? fireworks now. So our Artemis was under pressure there. He needs to turn around. We're punching. 
Und die hatten nun, naja, ja, na, wie viele Missiles? Äh, ja. Coming in in time. But it was, I always feel that it's a good thing to make sure that we get the kill. Um, because if something had happened and maybe if they had maneuvered around, then uh, the, the additional damage potential would have come in handy. Oh yeah, the Artemis is totally shot up. Could have been worse now, of course. Only our left hangar is burning. So, now for the hunt. Yeah, that's actually also a thing. I wonder, like, sometimes they send the Talon in as well. Maybe it's because they think uh, that the, the other ships are sufficient or something. But it doesn't really make too much sense to keep the, the Talon uh, back there. I mean, they can't jump away apparently. Or maybe they are trying to jump away and they just need longer or something. Who knows? Longer than three or four turns. So, Talon hopelessly shooting at the bypass. Catching them. Okay, this AI, okay, now everything went into the left side there. Yeah. And the Minotaur never reached the target. Oh yeah, well, but we did count them. I didn't realize they were doing the battle. We are pounded them good. So there, we have it. Victory. Toaster sent to Toaster Hell. Proceed. So, let us see what we have. So, and now, Brandon postpones. He's just there to check out the area. So, what do we have here? We have, well, no one is really happy with us. I wonder why. But 4,000 Tillium now. Well, I mean, the Tillium is flowing, so that's certainly a thing. So, many ships still coming in. Um, officers, do we have a promotion? Oh, by, by the way, let me just read this one here. Tauron wants intervention. Cylon Fleet has jumped out of the detection range. Gorton, or Gontin, where is it? That's Delium. That's Nossos, Cocalus, Gotin. Oh, 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 they are coming for the other systems here, okay. Well, oh, we've got an, a fresh Ranger. That's good news. How about you guys? No, you only have 300. Um, this here. Here we've got seven ships, that's good. What about you guys? You have also space for one ship. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Actually, Albina can use the Ranger there. Yeah, I guess. Oh, by the way, repairing this one here. No one has bothered the Daedalus fleet in quite a while. So, yeah, I think we are sending it here. And then Albina can do it. So you guys jump over there. Confirm jump. And you, you guys are ready. You guys are here. You need to be repaired for one trillion new paint on the ship. On the ships. Here it's rather expensive though. 69. Here 53. That was Heimerich, yeah. Wilbert for 22. And Davis for 75. Yeah, well. 
now we are at 3700 but well we are making a surplus so Wait, what is this here that's Cylon fleet Thirty-three. Oh yeah, it's a big one. But I still think that it's actually not such a bad decision to jump away. So it costs two hundred though. But let's do it. So I want to make some progress here. Jumping there. Confirm jump. Well, and theoretically, we could send this fleet here, yeah, for 5,500. I think that's actually fine. Oh, no, well, they have all the... Ah, yeah, well... Maybe we should actually send uh, the Ranger over here. Now we need more frigates for this one. So, what's our building crew? The battle stars are coming in. Yeah, well, okay, no, it's fine. Just to, we just have to make do. Um, so I think we are jumping here and hunt these guys. I mean, we are significantly um, outranked by a near 8,000 point fleet. And we have only four... No, okay, no, we, we shouldn't do that against uh, an 8,000 point fleet with the three Monty course. That's, that's not too wise. They will have uh, around six squadrons of raiders. It's not wise to do that. Let's keep them there. And then let's, let's see what, what else happens. So we are just jumping there and everybody else holds the line. Yeah, and otherwise we don't need to do anything. Officers, anybody got a rank? Hemenengildo. That's the weirdest name. That's Hope. I mean, Albina could be promoted for a thousand. We're 5,300, but I actually, at this point, I don't want to do it. Still, same reasons as always Davis however I mean we could give him one what would that mean 160 then we actually get one more system strength I guess that would actually be a good thing so let's give it to him 160 it's not too expensive Constance What happened? Ah, uh, sorry. Tech Bay. So there you go. Go so Constance. Cost uh, 1,400. This one is 1,700 for Jody. And Nicola doesn't have an assignment. Yeah, so I guess we are done there. Right. Good. Ending the turn. I didn't forget anything, right? Yeah, everybody can just hold their line. They are fortifying the colonies. Okay, ending the turn. Detected a base star group, sir. Well, Cylon escort group the base star detected. groups are elusive. So there, okay, so there are multiple fleets located at Virgon. Um, uh, yeah, here a fortified one. colony is under attack. There you go, so it is Wilbert's turn. Caprica is under pressure again, but that is more a recon unit in strength or something, a recon in strength, not a harassment fleet of for Nemesis or something. Yeah, well, that looks that doesn't look so badly. And then it's like one, so three battles, and then we have the chapter mission. All right, so that's the situation. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you found this battle interesting and cool. I certainly did. Um, yeah, and if you did, please do click the like button, and if uh, you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Win-win situation for everyone, and don't forget to click the bell button so you get notified when a new 
video comes out. Thanks so much. And if you have any thoughts, any feelings, any tips and tricks to share for the community, me and, and everybody, please do so in the comment section. Thanks for hanging out together. See you next time. Bye-bye.